Yo, what's going on guys? It's Mason here. So today, I'm coming back with another story time. Now, I said I would tell this one in the last video, so I'm going to tell it now because I haven't uploaded in, what, two days? So, this story time is going to be about how I got fired from McDonald's, okay? So now, some of you know I worked at McDonald's. If you didn't, I worked at McDonald's for two years, something like that. So... Yeah, I got fired from there. I have a new job now, but I got fired from McDonald's, okay? And here's going to be on how I got fired from McDonald's. Okay, don't do anything I did at any job, because this was just dumb on my part to do this. Like, so dumb. I don't know why I did this, but okay, so let's get right into it. So, it all started, I was working a, I believe, Friday night. I got fired, like, three weeks ago. So I think I was working on a Friday night. Um, yeah, I think it was a Friday. Yeah, okay, for sure, it was a Friday. And um, I was working till 9 o'clock, okay? And now some of the night people there, the last shift people, are very weird and, like, very just, I don't know, strained, okay? So I'm sitting back. I'm doing, I was working... Uh, taking orders so I was taking orders we ran out of orders so it was like eight o'clock okay and there was this one manager in particular that hates me still doesn't hate me threatened to ban me from McDonald's we're just gonna call him dickhead okay so manager dickhead is basically just a nice dickhead okay that's the way, best way I can explain him it's just a nice like just picture a dickhead like not literally but like just picture like a dick not literally but like someone that's just a dick okay that's him okay so we're describing this manager we're gonna just call him dickhead so dickhead does not like me at all okay like everyone will stand around talk he'll stand around talk hit his cart his weed he'll smoke in the back um vape in the back but then whenever someone else talks or does anything bad he has a freak out okay now, this manager has never liked me, okay, so, it was like 8 o'clock, I finished my job, so I finished taking orders, there was no other cars or anything, and so I decided to go to the back, okay, now there's this one girl that I'm friends with that's back there, and I brought a fork back, a little plastic fork for some reason, okay, I don't know why, I just had it, but yeah, so I had this plastic fork on me, and this girl was playing with a lighter so i was like hey uh you know can i see that lighter she was like why i was like i want to light this fork on fire okay and i indeed did that i indeed lit the fork on fire now this wasn't the smartest move okay so the girl gives me the lighter she's like if anything happens just don't say it was me i give you the lighter i was like for sure so she walks away i wait like a minute and i start lighting this fork on fire i don't know why literally as soon as I start it, like, the prongs are on fire, and there's plastic flying everywhere, it smells like burning plastic, this, like, 30-year-old woman walks back, okay, and now, this girl is, hasn't liked me either, we're gonna call her Miss Dickhead, okay, so Miss Dickhead did not like me, Miss Dickhead walks back, looks at me, have the lighter in my hands, looks at all the black smoke flying everywhere, looks at the plastic melting fork in my hand, and went and told Mr. Dickhead, okay, now these two aren't married, I'm just, you, they're just going to be Mr. and Mr. Dickhead for the video, but anyhow, so, and went and told Mr. Dickhead, now, I didn't know, I immediately waved the fire out, and then Mr. Dickhead comes racing around the corner, he's like, where's the lighter, give me the lighter, I'm like, I don't know where it is, I threw it out, he's like, no, you didn't give it to me, I was like, okay, it's right here, and he was like, who'd you get it from, I was like, I don't know, it was just sitting there, he's like, okay, Okay, so that went by. Then, like, ten minutes later, I got bored, so I started scooping fryer oil into a cup. I don't know why, but I put fryer oil into a cup and put a frozen chicken nugget in it and then wrapped over, the, like, wrapped saran wrap over the top. I was trying to see if it would cook the chicken nugget. Okay, now, apparently both the things I did were dangerous. Now, I was near no one whenever I lit the fork on fire, and it's just a cup full of oil, like hidden somewhere 
it's in a cup. I don't know how it's dangerous. But they said I could have hurt someone. I don't know. They were just looking for an excuse to fire me. Because Mr. Dickhead did not like me. So when uh, the one manager fired me, Mr. Dickhead had to listen to the whole conversation, okay? Because he just didn't like me. He went and told the his boss that I was doing that stuff to get me in trouble. Now, I don't know why he was like this, but he just was a dickhead, so that's what we're calling him, Mr. Dickhead. But funny story of, this is going to be a story time in the story time of how I almost got banned from the same McDonald's I got fired from. So like, a week ago, about a week ago, no, I'm just playing, but for real. Um, me and my friend went to the same McDonald's I got fired from. Mr. Dickhead was working, okay? Now, there was a broom laying on the ground, okay? We had gotten food, and then we drove past, parked to eat the food, then seen a broom, and I could recognize, because I worked there, so did my friend, my friend used to work there, actually, and I recognized, hey, that's a McDonald's broom, like, they were probably sweeping the parking lot and left it out here. So me being a smartass, I was like, let's go through, order a cup of water, and then we'll hand the broom through the window, okay, because we weren't allowed to go in because they were just remodeling the McDonald's, that's in my town. So they were remodeling this McDonald's, so I went and I was like, let's hand it through the window. So I hand it through the window, and for some reason, I thought it was funny to just start screaming at the top of my lungs, like bloody murder, like someone was trying to rape me or something. Like, I don't know, like it was just, I just started screaming bloody murder, like someone was trying to abduct me. Okay, and then I, we drove away, okay, and now Mr. Dickhead was outside vaping, and... We drive past, my friend has his window down, he's like, you want to go back through for it? see how many waters we can get? I was like, sure, why not? And Mr. Dickhead's out there vaping, I see Mr. Dickhead, so I just scream, I was like, just screaming at the top of my lungs for no reason, okay? And then he comes over to the car, and he was like, if you guys keep screaming in here, you guys are going to have more problems than you can handle. I was like, what's that supposed to mean? I, I'm guessing he was trying to say we're going to get charged for trespassing because I was screaming all I have to do is say I have Tourette's or something. Can't prove I didn't, but anyhow, yeah, Mr. Dickhead has never liked me. Mr. Dickhead will never like me. And Mr. Dickhead is just a straight-up douchebag. So, yeah, hope everyone enjoyed the story time of how I got fired from McDonald's and almost banned from the same McDonald's. So, hope you all have a good rest of your night or day or wherever, but... Peace.